Oh, look, ocotillos. Rows and rows and rows of ocotillos. Let's see if we can get through this. If I can get through this unharmed. Woo! Nice. Uh, over here we have more uh, uh, Mojave Yuccas, uh, we have native hedgehogs, native uh, 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 barrels. Here is a, a very, very, this agave uh, Utah Ensis, Nevada Ensis, doesn't grow anywhere in the world except within 300 miles Ooh. where we're standing. Very, very incredible plant. Uh -huh. and. Uh, I'm, I have over uh, 3,000 of these growing here at the nursery that uh, uh, have the native cotton top, the poly, uh, uh, Econocactus polycephalus. Which one is that here? The, uh, this one right here this in the one. shadow. Uh -huh. Okay. And then what is this that one? That is uh, the uh, hedgehog. Uh, Anglemanii is, is Anglemanii. Uh -huh. um, I saw this when I came in. Oh, uh -huh. I was. This is what I was looking for to plant in my backyard because I know this is very tough. <laughs> oh, it, uh, again, the only thing you can do to this plant is overwater it. With once established, it can go a, a year and a half, two years, maybe three years without. It's not going to look very good, but it it, it will survive. But it's still alive. Yes. Uh -huh. The only thing you can do to this plant is overwater it that it will take the cold. It should go down to uh, zero degrees Fahrenheit, maybe Ooh, even wow. uh, uh, all, all, all three, this, this cluster here, all three of these plants will go down to zero or below. Good and, to know, good to know. And these are probably some of the most drought tolerant plants. Also our, our choya there that, uh, uh, so all four of those plants would go down to below zero mm -hmm. and could go a year, at least a year without any precipitation at all once established right right in this section they have a lot of cacti planted in the ground probably this is their propagation area so I see lots of apuntias in this section here and then some teddy bear choyas back there and they're growing agaves also in here. Oh, I think these are baby agave utahensis. Okay, and then more agaves there at the back. Ooh, take a look at this choya. I wonder what this is. It's not as uh, big as a teddy bear choya. Look how purple it is. It's so stressed with the cold temperature in the sun right now that's beautiful okay and then here is a teddy bear choya so pretty just keep your distance guys it doesn't want to be cuddled <laughs> like a teddy bear but this is a teddy bear choya so beautiful just admire it at a distance see see how beautiful they look when the sun reflects against their spines, ah, they just show their beauty. Oh. These are swirl skeletons. Uh, the the uh, incredible piece of sculpture that the people put them in their house, in their yard. Uh, they just, everyone is different. Everyone is, is so different. Uh, they make such an incredible statement. Uh-huh. Yeah, I can't believe it that this it, is a is, is a cactus used to be right as a cactus trunk of, of a, the big saguaros. Uh-huh. And uh, 
this has to be from the mother plant to now has to be probably 300 years old amazing and, uh, amazing by the gift shop you do have a big saguaro over there uh -huh. the big tall one uh -huh. do you know more or less how old that is i've always been wondering <laughs> oh it's at least at least 200 years old maybe 250. Wow. I, I brought it here 25 years ago and it does uh it's an amazing plant it's an amazing plant it is so that is the saguaro that you said is probably two, 250 years old? Uh -huh, 200 to 250 years old. They don't nice. have growth rings or tree, tree rings as, as uh, 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 deciduous trees have. And, uh, uh, to tell the age, to yeah. To tell the age, uh -huh. but, I see that you cover the top of your saguaros. Why do you do that, sir? Because at this elevation, uh, uh, the tops could freeze and uh, most cacti grow from the, the top and if the top freezes uh, it doesn't necessarily kill the plant but it makes them very unsightly uh, and it slows the growth and it it could kill them though and you said you're higher elevation here than Las Vegas. Las Vegas, right? so we are at least 10 to 15 degrees cooler than the airport where the official temperature is taken. I see, I see. 2021, we had 12 inches of snow here in the nursery. I remember that, yes, when we had it's snow. crazy, just absolutely crazy. Wow. Yeah. Well, aside from the plants right here. What else do you offer here in Cactus Joe's? The, we uh, have became a, a destination for weddings, elopements. Uh, oh, I and, see. Uh, and of course the botanical garden across this, the way is becoming very, very popular for, uh, for outdoor cactus weddings and elopements. Nice. Have you seen the chapel? I didn't even know you had a chapel in here. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So, if you like destination weddings, this is where they do oh, the ceremonies. Oh, this is one, one of the ceremonies. The we have several uh, venues. We've had here at the chapel uh, around the labyrinth. This uh, labyrinth is on the uh, uh, national international registry for the labyrinth. It's a journey to the center of uh, of your soul, but uh, uh, oh, yeah, I am for meditation for meditation walks for mm -hmm. uh, the. Uh, so this is the chapel, uh, and it's small. The uh, the chapel only holds sixteen people. Uh, um, but for larger weddings, the uh, oh, nice and cozy. That uh, look at that view at the back. Uh, come in, come in. Ooh. Oh, this is nice. With that, that's not a picture frame, guys. That's real view back there. That is a real view. And this is up to the Red Rock Canyon here, of course. The, uh, uh, and that this view changes uh, with the clouds, with the uh, uh, shadows, the uh, the time of day is the. As the sun makes its traverse across the sky. Beautiful. Large wedding, the officiant uh, uh, <clears throat> or the uh, uh, minister stands here, and the tables and the chairs are arranged in this area. And uh, the, we've done a wedding here in, in this manner with the officiant here. Uh, uh, 125 people that right here that uh, wow yeah uh, and we work with several different uh, uh, wedding planners and event planners 
And then I see that you also sell a lot of those like minerals and rocks. Rocks, gems, and minerals. Gems, mm-hmm. And, um, and we're adding more rocks, gems, and minerals virtually every day, like we do with plants, of course. Hello everybody, this is Spencer aka Odin Star. I teach Tai Chi here at Cactus Joe's every Friday at 8 a.m. and Saturdays at 9 30. It's a very beginner class but I teach the foundations of movement so if you're looking to find more strength, more balance, more grace and movement, you know how to calm your emotions, how to work with your body and, and this world and, and grow, you know come down and Cactus Joe's and let's have some fun and flow. Thank you very much. This is Cactus Joe Nursery, guys, here in Vegas. Many of you messaged me that you're coming to Vegas and I always recommend this place. This is a destination nursery. You will not regret it coming in here. Um, there's a lot of beautiful specimens here of plants as you've already seen. They sell, aside from plants, they also have decorations for your yard. They have rocks, minerals, um, a lot. You, you gotta see it. You have to come here guys and see cactus joe it is really worth your time but um plan to spend hours in this nursery if you really want to see the full nursery beautiful all right so i am picking up one of the cacti here golden torch yes but if you can choose one that's not too tall because oh, like really it won't fit in my yeah in my car this one's the gorgeous. smallest one this that one you right can this is all going in the front yard or backyard 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 in the ground you're gonna plant them yourself will it survive oh, yeah, do you dude, think uh, just for the winter time make sure you cover it up with like a t-shirt or a blanket mm -hmm. like the first four to four eight inches i see i see Santa Rita, this is what I need. I told you guys my Santa Rita in the backyard, something happened to it and it died. So time to get a new one. Ooh, look at all the choices. Look at all the choices. And the price ain't bad considering that these are big. Oh, which one? Which one? I got so many choices. I just love this Santa Rita Opuntia when they're stressed. See, they turn purple and they're so beautiful even without flowers, but even more gorgeous if they have their flowers on them. But see that purple pads? 
Isn't that gorgeous? Here's my haul, guys. I have the Golden Torch Cactus of Checoserius. This is the Anglomanii and my Santa Rita Opuntia. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining me and Mr. Cactus Joe himself. Thank you so much again for um, touring me around. This is unplanned, guys. I just came here to look around and look who greeted me, Mr. Cactus Joe himself. Thank you so much. Anna, thank you so much. It's been such a pleasure. You are such an amazing young lady. Though. Oh, thank you. And I, I love cactus lovers. <laughs> so bye everyone. Cheers. We'll see you soon.